Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking at the Somerset House Inn. Today I'm going to make uh, Chipotle Huevos Rancheros. Now in the pan behind me, I have um, one diced green bell pepper, I have one diced onion, and I have one um, uh, diced or chopped garlic clove. That is sauteing in two tablespoons of butter. They're sauteing, they saute for about five minutes. So they're getting towards the end of their saute. And um, I'm gonna show you how I put it all, the sauce all together. But while we're up here, I wanna show you um, and talk to you a little bit about the chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. So these come in a um, smaller can. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig a few out. And I am actually gonna use a little bit of the adobo sauce too. You know, listen, this is about your heat level, what you like. If you don't like the heat, then I would suggest use one of them. And the sauce is great, I love it. So I'm just gonna run my knife through this. Now you may notice as I'm chopping, I have a glove on today. Part of the reason I have a glove on is because I have a cut on my hand. It's really super important to have um, good practice good food safety while you're in the kitchen. So I have a Band-Aid on and a glove for double protection, which is required by the Commonwealth. So now that I've run my knife through that, we're gonna turn our attention back to the um, stove top. So, all this has again been sauteing for about five minutes. Now, we do wanna put a thickening agent in here. So you could put flour, but I like to put cornstarch. We're gonna put two tablespoons of cornstarch in here. And the reason why I like to use cornstarch is, because now I've just made this a gluten-free option. And it's great to have those in your arsenal because you do have people who come through who are gluten-free. You really do need to mix this in well and you wanna cook it off for about 30 seconds or a minute. We're really trying to incorporate it. I don't wanna see any cornstarch um, after I've incorporated it. I wanna make sure it's all cooked off for a bit. And this is, I'm doing this all prior to adding in the rest of my ingredients. <clears throat> Now I love these huevos, chipotle huevos rancheros because the sauce is very resilient. You could keep this into a fridge up to a week, so you could really make it ahead of time, great for a brunch, um, or you could throw it in the freezer for a couple of months if you didn't use it all too, so it's really great to have, okay? So now that you see all of that uh, cornstarch has been incorporated, now we're gonna start layering in our ingredients. We have one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, and those do um, have the juice with them still. I like to just put that in. I have one and a half teaspoons of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. <clears throat> and here I have a half teaspoon of chipotle chili powder. I have one teaspoon of oregano, and then I have a half a teaspoon of accent. Yes, you heard me correct, accent. <laughs> Seems like this is a spice or a mixture of uh, seasoning salt from way back in the day. <clears throat> now added to that, I'm also going to put in one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. This is so delicious in so many things. I love to use it. <clears throat> and then um, also we're going to put a half a teaspoon of hot sauce in it. I, I like Frank's, but you know, you can use whatever you choose to use. So after that, the last thing we're gonna put in are the chipotle um, <clears throat> peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab these back here and I'm gonna slide them in. <clears throat> With that adobo sauce too. And then I'm just gonna blend this all up, mix it up. I wanna bring this to a slight boil, rumble. And then I'm gonna lower it and just cook it on low heat for 30 minutes. And that's it, it's actually pretty easy, but you do wanna come back and stir it pretty frequently, just cause you wanna make sure nothing sticks to the uh, bottom of the pan. So I'm gonna turn my heat up a little bit so I can get this going a little bit faster and then we'll lower it once that's happened. <clears throat> so that's it to um, the prepping of the sauce. Once again, fairly simple, it does have a lot of ingredients in it, so you gotta check your shopping list before you go. Now let's um, 
Talk to you also about these chipotle peppers real quick before we put those away. What I like to do with the started can is I'll put it in a freezer bag and then I'll throw that into the freezer and then you can use this again and again. It's a lot of chipotle peppers in one can. There's no way you're going to use them all in one recipe. So you could just break off a little bit, chop them up and throw them into things. They'd be great in a sauce, great for some enchiladas many different uses you could use with this. I actually like to use them in my chili. So lots of uses. So we're gonna put that in a freezer bag when we get a chance. Now I'm gonna to go to assembling of the huevos. <clears throat> These are some ramekins I have. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little nonstick cooking spray on them. And then <clears throat> actually have some already made of the sauce and we're going to go ahead and put in you know this this is really again I like to cover the bottom of it but you could put as much or as little um, in as you want to I would say about two tablespoons is what you're putting in each of the ramekins <clears throat> Then on top of that, we're going to crack our eggs, just using large eggs. Remember my tip of a previous video, always on a flat surface with your egg cracking so you don't get any eggshells into your uh, mixture here. I also do like to use a um, paring knife to crack the egg yolk. Um, again, just trying to make it a little bit user friendly for everybody. <clears throat> just put it in and jiggle it around a little bit and you're all set. <clears throat> just throw that in the sink. Last but not least, we're gonna put some shredded cheese. Now, you could use whatever blend you like. This is a four cheese Mexican blend that I typically buy at the store. Um, it's nice if you could actually just shred your own, but once in a while, it's nice also to get a hack from the store and make your life a little bit simpler. This again is a couple of, uh, couple of tablespoons of cheese on each one. <clears throat> so these are gonna go into a preheated oven of 350 and they're going to cook for 19 minutes. They could go a little bit longer if you like your cheese a little bit browner, but I always go with about 19 minutes. So just throwing it in my oven and that's that. <clears throat> set my timer and we're all set. Now while I'm over here, of course, I still have this uh, huevos mixture on. I'm just Scraping it up, I lowered the flame on it, and we're gonna just let it cook down. Again, it'll go for about 30 minutes. <clears throat> Once you're done with it <clears throat> on the stove top, just let it cool down before you transfer it to a resealable um, container. And again, if you're gonna use it this week, throw it in the fridge. If not, throw it in the freezer. I always pull it out at least a day before I'm gonna use it so it has time to thaw before you go ahead and layer it into the ramekins. Now, we do have a few that are done already, so I'm gonna pull those out. <clears throat> Here are the finished product. There's nothing else to do to these except to enjoy them. So, with a spoon, I always think spoon's the best thing to eat them with. It is a round um, vessel, so why not use a rounded utensil? <clears throat> Let me just dig in. What's nice is um, you really get that kick. You can see the steam coming off of these. This is gonna be a nice bite for me. Mmm. Mmm. That is excellent. I love these Chipotle Huevos Rancheros. I'll tell you the other really great thing about this recipe is this is an expandable recipe, which in my opinion, is a great thing for the end. Because once you have the sauce made, if you have a few guests, you could serve it, or if you have a lot of guests, you could serve it. So you could really gear it towards how many number of people you're having over. That's it for now. I hope everyone enjoys this recipe. 
Feel free to post some pics once you've made your own Chipotle huevos rancheros on the Somerset House Inn Facebook page. And we look forward to seeing you guys back soon. Have a great day.